here we have a USB 3.1 10 gigabit per second hub and it has developed a bad USB A port so let's have a look if we can fix it so on this side here is where the USB A ports are and let me bring in the microscope here as you can see we make it a bit bigger this port over here this one here is bad that little black plastic thing was actually missing and I pulled it out and as you can see the metal pins here are bent so we're going to see if we can get this thing open now I have already determined that there aren't any screws underneath the feet and the thing seems to be just jammed together I have taken one side off you know, over here I took one one side off with great difficulty and inside of this there is a um, little circuit board let me see if I can tune in a little bit better and I haven't got a clue right now yet how to pull that out it seems to be jammed in there somehow so I'm going to try to remove the other side over here and these things are very hard to get out there is hardly no room to get anything in there you got to jam something in there and it's, so I'm going to do that off camera actually I've got to, I've got this special heavy duty spudger over here which is actually for watches and I just got to try to jam that in there without stabbing myself so I am going to do that and I'll be back in a second see if I can get that off okay it seems that on this side over here there is some little device over here that with a tab on it that I seem to be able to pull out cover come off now yes it does all right so this is the offending port so I'm going to have a look if I have a replacement for that Okay, well, actually, this little piece of plastic came out of there. I think it is broken off. And these pins are all bent, and I kind of bent them back a little bit. So I might be able to put that piece of plastic back, although it is broken for the time being. But I'll have to buy a new socket. I thought I might be able to steal the socket of this little breakout board but it is actually the other way around <clears throat> and the pins there are five pins close to it and four pins further away and these ones here are the, are the opposite they have four pins close and five pins further away and they are upside down if you like from the other one so I can't use that one I have to order one a, a suitable plug okay I found a box with all sorts of connectors there and that uh, blue one over there appears to be the right type and I measured the size and it's got four 
pins and then it goes five pins which is exactly what it does and it seems to be exactly the right size so we will hope that that one does fit it's got nine pins which is what we need and it seems to have a bunch of other useful things in there as well so we'll order this kit it's that one there with the uh, blue on it okay we've got to start removing this USB socket which is no longer any good I've got a new one here which has the right pin out but it is a little bit different it has two pins here that hopefully will fit in those holes but it, it does not have hopefully it fits in those holes but it does not have those two little connectors here but we'll try and see how this works out so first thing to do is to actually fire up the soldering iron here and I think I need to put a smaller tip in it so hold on for a second here that is better fits those little pins over here so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting some low melt solder on those four points over here This is some low melt solder. Where are we here? This is one of those things where you could do with three hands. It's off. A little bit more flux. Solder wick.
blocks. First those tabs. The pins keeps moving on me. Some more light on it. There we go. I think that'll do it. It doesn't have tabs on those little holes here, so I don't have to touch those. Okay. Some alcohol. Okay, off camera now, I'll, but I'm going to plug a little flash drive in it. It made a noise. Yep, it's there, so it's working. Okay, now we can put it back together again. All right, so first things first, this cover goes on. And we got some screws. I always like to put screws in these little magnetic ball so I don't lose them now this um socket here a little bigger than those so it's going to be interesting to see if it's, it's going to fit in this case here if it doesn't I just want to put the case back on because it's good enough as it is like that I guess
Oh, aku dulu guys. I think it might be okay. Put those two little screws in somehow. One. Okay. See if this strip will back on. There it is. And that new socket here will take a plug. So all is well, it ends well. Okay, that's it. Fixed up my little hub. And don't forget to subscribe and stuff. And I'll see you guys later.